The Southern Pacific Railroad had been running passenger trains on the San Francisco Peninsula since 1863, initially as the San Francisco and San Jose Railroad. In 1980, that all changed. After 1954, the railroad began to see dwindling revenue and increased cost as Americans began to rely more on their cars to commute. After reducing service over the years, and ultimately threatening to cease operation completely, the state of California stepped in and began to fully subsidize the operation in 1980. It was operated by Caltrans and became known as Caltrain. The Southern Pacific was selected as the operator. Nothing physically changed. The tracks and rolling stock were still owned by the SP, with the exception of one locomotive and three cars. For five years, one couldn't tell a state was paying the bill. The SP operated a fleet of 24 locomotives, 46 gallery cars purchased between 1955 and 1968, and about half of the original fleet of 85 suburban coaches purchased in 1923 and 1924. In 1984, Caltrans placed an order with EMD for 18 new F40PH locomotives and with Nippon Shario for 63 bi-level cars to completely replace the old SP equipment. At the beginning of 1985, the new equipment began to arrive. Early April saw test runs on the peninsula. The first revenue run of the new equipment was on April 26 with train 62. From that time through August, it was a mix of equipment until all the coaches were available. The last regularly scheduled commute train with suburban coaches left San Francisco on June 12th on train 60 with SDP 453201 on the point. On June 15th, two round-trip excursions were run to commemorate the last run of the suburban coaches known to rail fans as Harrimans. True Harriman coaches ran on the peninsula until 1968, when they and a number of suburban coaches were finally replaced by the last order of SP bi-level gallery cars. The morning round trip left San Jose with SD9s 4450 and 4451 affectionately known as Huff and Puff.
The return trip from San Francisco found two GP9s, 3193 and torpedo boat 3195 on the point. In the afternoon, SDP 453207 did the honors northbound, and the new F 40PH CDTX 900 was leading in the final leg to San Jose. No suburban coaches were scrapped, as they all found new homes on excursion railroads. The remaining bi level gallery cars ownership was transferred to Caltrans in June of 1985. On June 18th, all 18 of the F 40 PH locomotives were in service, and on June 22nd, there were a total of six three car sets comprised of two coaches and one cab car. The rest of the cars were delivered over the remainder of the year. By the end of 1985, any indication of a Southern Pacific operation were erased, except for the tracks and structures. To complete the transition, the Peninsula Corridor Joint Powers Board study was created in 1987 to take over from Caltrans. The Peninsula Line from San Francisco to San Jose was purchased from the Southern Pacific in 1991. And finally, in 1992, Amtrak was selected as the operator instead of the SP, ending more than 120 years of Southern Pacific commute operation.